be amazing to have them inside. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be a quite a property tour. <laughs> In this tour, we walk you through an artistic architectural home designed by world-renowned McLeod Bovell. Listed by Eric Christensen with Bellevue Realty Group, this home features four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and over 7,000 square feet of living space. We begin this tour through the large solid wood door. Hey everyone, welcome inside. We're here in the front foyer of this architectural gem. Beside this big door, you have a floor to ceiling window. And if you look closely enough, you just might see a little friend. Now down below, there's the white oak flooring, which is throughout the entire home. And we're gonna follow that down this hall into the living space. Here we are in the main living space. Now this is the center of the home and is perfect for all those family and friends gatherings, especially for those that love to entertain. You have a really open concept feel because it's just such an expansive room coming from these vaulted ceilings leading all the way up into the corner and you have these windows that are slanted down following the design, allowing for a ton of natural light to come in. I definitely love the architectural design of that, but I also love the placement of this home because it helps accentuate those views. And I can also see the ocean from here as well. Speaking of those views and outside, on both sides, starting with my right, there's a massive patio door that you can open up and you have a large covered patio area. And on this side, the door leads out into the outdoor space. I love that outdoor space, but look at this dining area. Yeah, let's go check out the dining room. This dining room is perfectly located just off the main living space and the kitchen. And just imagine sitting at this large table in these wishbone chairs, eating your dinner and looking out through these big windows into those views. And better yet, imagine just opening up both those sliding doors and letting that breeze come in on those nice evenings. Oh, that would be amazing. And I love the fact that you have a lot of space around this table so you don't feel crowded. I agree. But now let's see where you're gonna be cooking all that food that you'll be putting on this dining room table in the kitchen. This bulltop German luxury kitchen certainly is stunning. On both sides, there's these two massive islands. Starting with the left, you have the bar countertops with that white stone, which flows into this large countertop and a very extensively designed sink for doing all your dishes. I love the fact that this overlooks the rest of that living space so you could really just feel like you're a part of the entertainment. It was a certainly well thought out design because nothing worse than having to prep food or do the dishes and you're not a part of the entertainment. And on this side, this is where you're gonna be putting out all your appetizers and some drinks. And you'll be cooking those appetizers on this Gagano stovetop. This island is lifted. You got the feet down below. I don't see that too much in some islands. Yeah, you don't see that often. And what you also don't see that often is on this wall, you have the disappearing cabinets that's flush with the wall and also has a fridge. And now behind me is where you're gonna be doing a lot of the main cooking on your Wolf appliances. And if you look on the back here, you have the stone backsplash. It pairs nicely with the aluminum cupboards. Uh, I love the shine off those. I like it as well. Leaving the kitchen, we're now entering the informal living room. I love the staging in here. Yeah, they did a really good job. I personally love these lighting pendants on both sides, give off a really warm look to the room. And also these end tables have a nice design to them. Around this corner and down the hall, along this aluminum wall, we have the wine cooler. Now on my right side, you have a secondary bedroom that has its own ensuite. And on the other side to the left, there's a mud room and a laundry room, which is followed by the door behind me that goes into the double car garage. Leaving the kitchen and walking through this expansive main living space, we're walking along this concealed wall that has the elevator, and we're gonna head down wait, this wait, hall. Pause, pause, pause. Yeah. There's an elevator where? <laughs> well, it's in the concealed wall. <laughs> you guys know we love our secret rooms. This one's actually got somewhat of a secret elevator. 
And alongside, I think it's this one. Yes, it is. This one, you open it up and you got the elevator, it takes you to the lower level. There is an, I thought you screwed up. <laughs> oh no, no, there's an elevator, of course. But we're gonna check that out later because over here, we have a whole nother side to this house. Down this hall and to my right, we have the elegantly designed powder room. It has a super edgy mirror and a beautiful black stone countertop. And across from that, we have the built-in cabinetry where you can display some of your artwork. As we continue on down the hall and behind me through these double doors, you have the secondary bedroom. This is a great size bedroom. I mean, check this out. You have a king size bed with still tons of room on both sides. And on this wall here, you have the large TV to be watching that at night. But once again, just like that family living space, I don't think I'd turn that on. I'd be looking out these floor to ceiling windows that also slides open so you can check out those views and enjoy that patio. Moving along through this room and through this door, we have the walk-in closet. That is quite large and it has some built-in shelving. So you'll be able to store all your clothes in there. As we continue on and down to my left, we have the bathroom that has a ton of white stone. That is certainly beautiful. Leaving this bedroom, we're now gonna head down this hall towards the front of the home, past the front foyer, and down this hall, where we're gonna check out the cozy primary bedroom. This primary room is so large. I mean, check out the king size bed and how much room is still around here. And on both sides, I personally love those nightstands, the black with white and those lamps. The interior design work here is stunning. Especially with that abstract painting behind you. Speaking of this area, look at how large it is. You have these two chairs with a little stand in the middle. You can even put a couch if you wanted to. What you don't need is a TV because over here where all this natural light is coming in, you have these massive windows with those beautiful views of all the nature of West Vancouver. Continuing on through this primary room, we're now in the ensuite and closet area. Check out this walk-in closet, just how big it is, and it also has the built-in shelving. And on this side behind me, we're now gonna enter this ensuite. It has a stunning layout. Just check this out. On this side, you have the double sinks that has a ton of space in the middle here. So you're gonna be able to put out all your goods here and not gonna be fighting with your partner over any counter space. And behind me, you have the glass enclosed walk-in shower with the beautiful white stone along that wall, which leads down to the flooring into this standalone tub. I mean, just look at how elegant that is. Imagine having the bath, looking out these windows with all that natural light into once again, that beautiful nature of West Vancouver. Leaving the primary room, we're now gonna head past the front foyer, down this hall and check out the lower level entertainment space. At the bottom of the stairs, we're now in the lower level entertainment space. Right away, your eyes are gonna gravitate to this entire wall that is filled with the exposed concrete. Gives off a really cool industrial vibe to this entertainment space. And over here, we're gonna pass by this table here where you can be playing cards, maybe some poker, winning or losing some money, and mixing some cocktails for your friends. I'd probably just be playing Pogs, ready? Pogs? What are Pogs? Yeah. I forgot you are born in five years ago. <laughs> but as we continue on this way, we're now in the main entertainer space here. This is where you're gonna lounge with all the family and friends on this expansive room, this big L-shaped couch, and put on your favorite shows or movies. What's in that doorway over there? Down that doorway is a super conveniently located full bathroom. So whenever someone's watching something or you're playing some cards or those pogs, you can just go right on into the bathroom over there without going through the rest of the home. Leaving the entertainment space, heading past the stairs and past the elevator, we're now in the guest quarters, which you could also call a nanny suite or an in-law suite because this is huge. It's like a whole nother house down here. Starting with this kitchen. It's a full kitchen with all your appliances, tons of cabinetry and that beautiful white stone. As we continue on, just look at how big this is. You have these windows going along the entire lower level here, showcasing the greenery of that backyard. And to my right, you have these French doors that open up into what could be your office, because that's not the room. 
Over on this side, we have a large diamond shaped room that has its own ensuite and a massive walk-in closet. But enough of this lower level, let's head all the way upstairs and check out the outdoor space. Heading through this large glass sliding door, we're now in the outdoor entertainment space. This is where you're gonna hang out with your family and friends, and on those chilly nights, you're gonna turn on that fireplace. Now, you don't have to worry if it's raining or not, because remember those high vaulted ceilings in the front living area? Well, they actually extend all the way outside, way out there, and it serves as like a giant umbrella protecting you from the rain. I love the architecture, the design of that. But speaking of rain, we actually turned it on for this very special feature. <laughs> yes, we did. So there's a steel roof that actually captures the rain and puts it out that downspout, creating a waterfall, and it goes into a pond. Now that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. But I do think that it's the end of this one. Yeah, I think it's the end of it. We hope you all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now we want to give a big shout out to Eric Christensen with Bellevue Realty Group for allowing us to come in and film their listing. Now if you want more details on this home, check out the description where we'll have links for all of that. My name's Tyler and that's Jaden. We're with Propertygrams. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay tuned for the latest tour. But enough of that, we'll see you on the next one.